10 and it's been raining a lot this morning. There's been thunderstorms, yeah. so we haven't really got out yet. We're now going to head up to the northern part of the city of Hong Kong and try and find some dim sum. There's a Michelin starred dim sum restaurant. We think we can get in. Do I just turning up? So we're just going to go there nice and early now and see if we can. or get a ticket number or something but we didn't have to get that at all. It's called Tim Ho Wan and we're gonna have a look and see what items are on the menu. So the way that you do it here is that you tick off everything that you want. So we're gonna go for some pork dumplings with shrimp, some bean curd roll with pork and vegetables, baked bun with barbecue pork because we love those, Fried turnip cake, that's another thing that we love. Rice with beef and egg. So you just hand your piece of paper in and then they bring it out when it's ready. So I'm looking forward to getting everything out so much. Oh, first dish. Already here. These are the pork buns. Shall I tuck in? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> this is the pork bun with barbecue pork. Oh no, steam bun with barbecue pork. Different to the ones usually we get. Mm. So normally the ones we get are like the fluffy ones which have got like a soft dough yeah. on it. And this is much more like a bread roll with like a hollow inside. But it's got like that crispiness that you get on the yam croquettes. It's got like crispiness on the top and it's really good. So the next thing is the glutinous rice. Which has pork in it, um, like mushrooms, I think, and a bit of egg. And the rice is like super, super sticky, and it comes in a lotus leaf. And all the sea is delicious. So, I'm not sure exactly what these are called, but in the UK we call them chung fun. And this is pork again, so char siu chung fun. Um, but they just call them like steamed rice roll in there and it's like steamed rice flour roll with some barbecue pork inside and it just keeps slipping off my chops there. Really good. When, when she came she bought the sauce and she just uh, poured it all over the top. I think it's just soy sauce but it really adds a little bit of flavour to it and she just poured it on next to it so everything here is living up to expectations so far. <laughs> bunch of other things came all at the same time. Mm. Yeah we also have <laughs> some bean curd rolls with pork and vegetable and also our turnip cakes. The bean curd rolls with uh, pork and vegetable it's just a uh, I don't know it's kind of like a spring roll but with a really soft outside with the bean curd wrapped around the outside. <laughs> There's a clean t-shirt today, so I'm glad I avoided getting any on me. But it's good, really tasty. It's got prawns in there as well, I think. Really? But it, um, it is really tasty, but everything else is so good that it just kind of isn't nearly as good as everything else. I've never had this before. It's shrimp paste with quail eggs. Weirdly reminiscent of a scotch egg. 
This one here is just so soft. Sometimes it can be a bit rubbery. And you can already see, I've already tucked into it. It's delicious, it just like melts in the mouth. So you can just eat like plates and plates and plates of this stuff. Well, we're absolutely stuffed after that. It was so, so good. Some, I mean, probably definitely the best in some we've ever had. Yeah. And the whole meal only cost $182, which is like £18. So you can ask for much cheaper. In the UK, when we get that much food, we spend 50 quid. Yeah. So for a Michelin star dim sum, £18 is pretty good. And it wasn't very busy in there. We easily got in, got a table. I think some people say they have to queue up. I don't know if that's like on the weekend or. I think that is actually a little queue now, to be fair, because it's yeah. now like lunchtime, whereas we came at like 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's only just 10 past 12, so we came pretty early. But now we're going to make our way over to the 10,000 Buddha Monastery or 10,000 Buddha Hall and have a look at that. Uh, it's a bit of a metro away, but it's raining still. Not, not too bad though, not drizzling. as bad as yesterday, yeah. Yeah, so we're hoping that'll hold off because I think some of this is outside. So we're at the 10,000 Buddhas Monastery. I think there's actually more than 10,000 Buddhas here. But all the way along this path there are just different Buddhas in different poses. But we're going to make the way up, I think it's about a 10 minute walk up the hill. And then there's a big hall with even more Buddhas in there as well. you're not allowed into the room with a camera but it was pretty impressive they had over 10,000 statues of Buddha all in different poses like there's there's uh, shelves all the way up the wall from floor to ceiling on all four walls of this massive building and these Buddhas about uh, the size of your palm maybe a little bit bigger all in there it's really impressive and all around the grounds as well, they've got like this pagoda, which is apparently on the $100 note, but I don't think I've got the right note for that. Um, and a load of other Buddha statues and other pretty things to look at. And the view is quite nice as well. There isn't a lot of signposting here. We're not entirely sure what everything is, but you kind of walk around. It's really quiet here. I expect there to be lots and lots more people. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's raining still. If we're here in low season, we seem to be in every country in low season at the moment. But I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah. We're gonna make our way down. There's another park somewhere in the city where we're gonna try and have a look around, have a walk around. Kowloon. Kowloon Walled City Park. Yeah. Yeah. So it's meant to be historical and interesting, um, but I don't know all that much about it, but we're going to make our way over there now. Jenny got a milk tea with pearls. 
the bubbles, and I got a brown sugar with pearls. So I don't know what they'll taste like. Jenny's, Jenny's looks about twice the size of mine. Yeah. What do you think? So good. Is it really it sweet? It tastes like demerara sugar that you put in like a cake. <laughs> it just tastes like that. Hardly any tea, mostly like that mixed with milk. With some chewy gummy bits in it. It's actually really good. Mine tastes more just like freezing cold English milk tea. No sugar. <laughs> Um, oh, I like the gummy bits though. Tastes a bit like what mochi's are made from. Of course. We decided to just come back to our hotel. We sat for ages in the bubble tea place, but it was just like raining and raining and raining. So. Stopped for a bit, we thought, okay, let's go now. And just as about as we were about to stand up, it just started pouring with rain again, yeah. just as hard. So it's not really park weather. And to be honest, it's like five o'clock anyway. So we thought we'd just come back and do a bit of editing, maybe watch a movie or something. Just relax really, because we're, tomorrow we're off to China. We've got quite a full plan ahead of us and I'm trying to still work out how to buy a part for my camera so that's taking a bit of my time as well. I might be able to do it in Shenzhen, fingers crossed. But today was fun. We really only went to the 10,000 Buddhas I guess and then we had that amazing dim sum for breakfast slash lunch. Yeah that was really good. That was really worth it going there so I'm glad we went there. Um, it's just a shame we didn't get to see a bit more of Hong Kong, but we'll probably just have to come back. Okay, so actually not the end of the day. We rushed out of our hotel because we remember that there's a light show on every night at 8pm down by the docks. And our hotel is only about 5 minutes away from it. So we're about 2 minutes away now. It's like 5 to 8, so I think we're just in time. Yeah, it was 10 minutes, it was, uh, the music was quiet. The music, I mean the music was quiet maybe because we're not stood by the like speakers, but it was just like not very bright, like you can't really see it, I don't know if it's because the sky is like misty, but... I wasn't sure what I was really looking at to be honest. Yeah, sorry um, Hong Kong, I'm not that impressed. Yeah. Anyway, now we are going to go back. And have dinner. I'll get something to eat quickly. Yeah, I'm hungry. As and always. then go to bed, I think.